Then there's another module called Kint. Now Kint used to be part of the Devel module and it uses the Kint library to print out information about the variable. And once you install it, what you can do is come to the Devel settings and instead of using Symfony var dumper, just select Kint. And you can still use the same functions such as DPM, but if we come here and refresh, instead of getting the Symfony var dumper, we get Kint. And this gives you a lot more information. You can drill down and if you view a object, you can see all the properties, methods. And if you click on this icon right here, it will show you the path to it. And I believe you can even search for things as well. But just be aware that the responsiveness of the site is a little slower if you are using this library because there's a lot happening in the back end. Now, every single time I talk about how to print variables, I always get, get comments saying just use xdebug. And yes, if you have the opportunity, you should be using xdebug. Now, xdebug does a lot of things, but we're just gonna focus on the step debugging. Now, luckily for us, ddev, which is the environment that I'm using, has xdebug already installed. And all you need to do to set it up is type in ddev xdebug on, or xdebug off if you wanna turn it off. And I do recommend that if you aren't using it, just have it off because the site will be snappier and, and faster. But if we do switch it on and jump over to VS Code, let me just comment this out and jump over to a bit of custom code here. And if I add my breakpoint there and I come over here and switch it on. Now VS Code has been configured to always run the ddev xdebug on command when you switch it on. And if I jump over to my page, here is my controller and refresh. 